All right, guys, back in the lab. We're going to do a player comparison. Uh, this kid, this player has been with me. He goes to Highland, another high school kid, and um, came to me about six months ago. So we're going to do a six-month comparison. So when he first came, he has a really, really kind of a narrow base. I like, you know, where he started. His starting point was on top. I love where he keeps his hands and the barrel. I think everybody should start with their bat on their shoulder. I think it's a great starting point. Uh, the difference, you can see the difference in foundation here. He's a little bit wider. Um, so as we roll through, um, let me clear these lines. As we roll through, he's got more of a toe tap. You can kind of see it's very, very short. He toe taps right to there and then he strides out. So again, toe tap back. It's like a two, three inch stride. Then he comes out and again, about ready to launch at, at foot down, except he's drifting. So he came to me and he was drifting with his weight this way and his hands were drifting forward too. So when he gets to, you know, he was having trouble with off speed for obvious reasons, but when he gets the connection, let me clear these lines. He, you know, he was a barrel turn. He tries to get on plane right there and kind of decelerates and then stops. So what we're really trying to work on is power and flow, right? Being able to sync up his connection. So we're going to kick back. He's into a leg kick now. He likes uh, leg kicking now. We, we kind of transfer him into a leg kick. The good thing is he's back on that backside. He's not overextended. See the bat still on his shoulders. And when he sinks right there. So this is a difference. We talk about sinking into your lower half. So he sinks into his lower half. You can see right there before the stride out. He creates a good corner right there. You can see his hands cornering. Um, he's staying back on the ball. And then at foot down, there's the difference. He's in a great launch position. That's launch right there. This is launch. There's a huge difference. Here he's centered and forward. And here he's back. And ready to launch okay much better position from launch and as he launches you can see he, he's in the center on uh, when he first came to me here he's back on the ball drives through really really nice look at where he's at here head over calf here he's head over the middle doesn't decelerate gets all the way to the back uh, that's just clean let me look at this one more time we're gonna we're gonna change up this is where he launches from front side. He's got the reverse house on top or power V. A lot of trainers like to call it the power V. Gets to his, he gets to his six right here. So his connection point right there. Gets to his six right there. His connection points right here. Drives through. Great solid finish as compared to he gets even. He shifts in his stance. Decelerates his swing. And stops right there. He's made some good strides. He's got a lot more power. He's he's a lot easy going when it when it comes to um, his lag and his 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 timing. He gets a good scap, gets his foot down, good acceleration through connection, nice strong finish.